All right, everybody, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad, and this hour we are going to be focusing on um, uh, our speaking and vocabulary skills in uh, learning words and phrases that we can use when we are looking for an apartment. We'll also talk about uh, a, a little bit of the process of what, it, what it's like in the United States specifically, because it's a little different uh, wherever you go, okay? The uh, link to the class is located in the chat box. Go ahead and open that up. I'll also put it in the Google chat box for you. All right, it should be available to uh, everyone now. Um, let's uh, go ahead and see who we have in class. Hello, Ibrahim, how are you? Ibrahim, can you hear me okay? All right, let's go to Amparo. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm doing well. And you? Good. Excellent. Good to have you here. Thank you. All right, Alpha. Nice to see you. Good to, good to have you here. Um, Adrian, how are you? Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Hello, I'm from uh, France and I'm native from Romania. Okay, fabulous. Good to have you here, Adrian. Okay, how about uh, Sergio? Hi, Chad. Hi, how are you? I'm doing really great. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, good to have you here. All right, you guys, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, oops, uh, we had Ahmed come in. Uh, Ahmed, can you hear me okay? Let me try Ibrahim one more time. Ibrahim, make sure that your microphone is not muted. Okay, if it's muted, I, I definitely cannot hear you. All right, so uh, uh, check that out. Okay, Ahmed, how are you? Okay, let's uh, check out uh, Mario. How are you, Mario? How are you, Chad? I'm, I'm doing good. Yeah. Good to have you here. Yes, I'm really glad. Okay. All how right. How about uh, I'm doing great. How about uh, Max? How you doing, Max? I'm fine, and you? I'm doing super. Awesome. All right. Great. Let's see great. here. All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and uh, and get started. The uh, the link is in the chat box. Go ahead and. Uh, and open that up. Okay, look here on uh, on the screen. And uh, yes, we will be talking about looking for an apartment. Now, uh, in your countries, okay, what uh, what type of or what places do you look? Okay, where do you look when you look for an apartment? What do you do? I'm I'm, uh, I'm I'm buying a newspaper. Okay, newspaper. Good. Ah, where uh, else? Where else can we look? And the uh, classificators. Cla no, I don't okay. know what to say this in English. <laughs> they they are called the classifieds. Classifieds, right? Internet. Okay. okay. Good, Amparo. Yes, we c internet. Okay. Uh, how about how about talking with friends or people yep. in the neighborhood, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Neighborhood. All right. What else? Where else can we go? About a uh, commercial TV. Okay. On TV. Ad. Yeah. On TV. Ads on TV. Good. On what you say, the the um, the officer, uh, I don't know the officer where you can 
take information about the, the, the apartment for hand. I don't know what to say, the um, officer. I don't know, uh, Senor Pontes is bad. Yeah, we don't have an, an office that's like that, that uh, where we can list our... Uh, uh, our apartments yeah. or our housing, but uh, you can talk with a realtor. Okay. Sorry, but repeat. So I don't. They are called realtors. Ah, realtors. Okay. Realtors are are pr people, okay, or individuals that uh, that uh, sell and rent houses. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, that should not be ourses. It should be houses. <laughs> All right. So yes, uh, houses. Okay. So you can talk with the realtor. Now um, here in Costa Rica, uh, you can also look for advertisements that people put up at the grocery stores. So there's a big board. Okay. There's a big board, and people they hammer in pieces of paper that have okay. their name and uh, you know if it's a three bedroom one bathroom house okay with a garden okay and then they put the uh, price the rent on it and then you have a little piece of paper that you rip off with their phone number hmm. okay Who in university okay uh, also at uh, university yeah definitely mm -hmm. okay so uh, there's uh, there's different types of of, of way, ways to find uh, apartments or housing now Concierge, in the United there States. Is a possibility. Okay, yeah, you can talk with the concierge. Um, concierges, they should know uh, everything. All right, they should have yeah. a lot of information for you. Okay, <laughs> that's their Except job to know information for the visitors. Right, that's a, a, that's a good idea. example. <laughs> All right, so um, in the United States, the principal way. To look for uh, for an apartment or for a house to rent is on the internet, and it is principally using a site that is called Craigslist. Craigslist.com. Okay, this is one of the best places to look for apartments or houses to rent. Now you won't say? be. Uh, uh, in the United States, pretty much everybody uses Craigslist. Okay, if you ask someone in the United States uh, where where you should look to rent a house, they'll say, "Have you checked out Craigslist yet?" Craigslist yet? Okay. So that's a, 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 a question that they would ask you. Have you checked out Craigslist? This is one of the best places to look for uh, apartments. Okay. Now I'll show you what the site looks like in, uh, in just uh, one, uh, one bit. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some vocabulary words. At the end of the vocabulary words, we'll go over, um, we'll go over uh, what this site looks like. We'll take a look at a dialogue, and then we'll also look at some more phrases we could use. Okay. All right. Let's go back to our sheet, and let's scroll down. So past page number one. Okay, past page number two, and past page number three, and stopping here on page number four, where it says vocabulary. Okay, this will this will give you uh, a lot of words that you would need to know when renting a house or in an apartment. Okay, let's start at the very top with number one, Adrian. Number one, please read this. Whoops. Please read this word and tell me which definition you believe matches that best. Which word, please? Uh, number one. Word number one. Uh, landlord. Is this okay. landlord? Yes, that is pronounced landlord. Excellent. Landlord. All right. And uh, what do you believe the definition would be? Uh, landlord. It must be an important uh, person. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a, who, it's a, the important person. Okay. Who uh, have a lot of land. 
All right. Yeah, they have the land. Usually, okay. Uh, usually, this is the uh, the person, okay, the uh, person that owns the property, okay. They own the 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 property. They own the apartment or they own the house, okay. So landlord matches with H. <coughs> H. H. Okay. The the person that owns, they are the owner. Okay. They are the landlord. Okay. So you rent. Okay. You rent your apartment from a landlord. You rent an apartment from a landlord. Okay. And it, it sounds uh, like a a, a very uh, big title. Okay, and uh, it sounds like a big title, but all right, it's uh, it's just someone that owns property that rents it out. They are called a landlord. Let's go to our next word here, Ahmad, number two, please. <clears throat> Ahmad, make sure that you are unmuted. I, I still cannot hear you. I'll, I'll come back to you. Okay, keep working on that. Uh, let's go to Amparo, number two, please. Tenant or tenant? Okay, tenant, tenant. Tenant, tenant. Okay, make sure to pronounce the T at the end, tenant. Tenant. There you tenant. go. All right, now, what do you believe the, uh, well, the word tenant means? Letter E, person who Good. rents an apartment. Yes. Now, the landlord rents, okay, is the owner, mm -hmm. okay, is the owner, and the landlord rents to the tenant, okay? Mm -hmm. So you are the tenant, tenant okay? okay? Okay. We would also use the word renter. Renter? Yeah. Okay, we would call the person a renter. Okay, just like that. I type that in the chat box. Okay, so you can be called a tenant or a renter. Okay, either way is is uh, used quite okay. often. Let's go to Ibrahim. Can you hear me? Okay, let's go to Marcio. Oh, sorry, Mario. My bad. Um, Mario, uh, number three, please. Um. Okay, that is pronounced lease. Lease. Okay. okay. And uh, what do you believe a lease would be? Okay. A lease. A lease is a written rental agreement. Okay. Written rental agreement. We could also call this a contract. Okay, the contract. Okay. Okay, lease or contract. So you sign a lease. You sign a uh, a contract. Okay, and uh, your lease can be anywhere from uh, three months, six months. Okay, uh, a, or uh, a year. Okay, one year. Okay, and sometimes two years. Okay, so uh, those are those are the type of leases you will see. Now, a three-month lease will probably be for a an apartment in a university uh, uh, in a university setting. Why? Well, um, a, a semester of college is usually about three to four months, okay? And so they, they, uh, they get people into three-month contracts, all right? Uh, Chad? Yes. Sorry. Uh, uh, um, uh, is better this, uh, is lease or uh, the rent department? Lease is um, better. They they are the same. They're the same. Oh, they right. are the same. Yes. Now, uh, it, literally, if you're yeah, if you're looking at the at the word itself, okay, 
Um, now, because because I was in real estate, I, I understand a little bit more about what those words are. So, for example, if you rent a car, okay, if you rent a car, you're not responsible for you know a, a lot of the damage that may happen. So, like regular wear, wear and tear. But if you lease it, you are responsible for the upkeep of the vehicle, the car. Now, if you're mm. talking about a house, okay, a rental, you would call the landlord if something breaks. With a lease, you would really need to take care of that yourself. Okay, that's usually how it works, but most people don't follow those rules. So if something breaks in the house, you can call the landlord and say, hey, guess what? The furnace in the house is not working. You need to pay to have it fixed. Okay, so that's, uh, that's uh, one. Uh, one uh, one thing that that happens, and no one really follows a lease or a con or a or a rental agreement uh, very strictly that way. They all think it, that they are renting, unless you have what's called a lease option. A lease option is a it, you are leasing it until you buy the property. Okay, so they they usually work it out to where you can lease it for a number of years. Let's say five to ten years. After five to ten years, all of the money that you placed on, uh, so you paid in rent, would count as a down payment. Then you could buy the property. It's a certain way of buying buying a house. That's called a lease option. But that's a little bit more more complicated. Okay. So that's, that's why I would. Do it. All right. Thank you. Uh, sure. No problem. Uh, Ibrahim, uh, please leave your microphone muted. We can hear the whole conversation that's happening behind you. Okay. Um, so everything that's happening there, we can hear okay. that. Okay. So please. Yep, please keep it muted until okay, it's your turn. Sure. sure. All right, very good. All right, so let's go to our next word. This is for... For damage deposit. Uh, sorry, so it's me? I don't know. <laughs> sorry. You can see me? You can hear me? Uh, yes, uh, please do not mm. mute me. If I see who mutes me, I get to exit you from the class okay so max um uh number four yes that that is damage deposit damage deposit is uh, a j security deposit okay yeah a security deposit now what would that mm -hmm. mean what do you think that means max a security deposit or a damage deposit what is that what is that this is uh when the you uh, you responsibility about the, your pro property, you know. Okay. And, All right. And, uh, and uh, it's, it's remember that reason you you speak is uh, you saying. Uh, you, sorry, I'm nervous. I I'm, I'm sometimes I'm speaking English more or less, but uh, sometimes I'm nervous in some confusion. But I think that this security deposit. It's a, a, a guarantee. A guarantee in English. Yes, for a the guarantee. Guarantee uh, of the uh, sorry, the man, uh, Lord, Lord, landlord. Uh, no, uh, that yes. your profit is a return. Uh, good the return is the same, the same uh, way that you. Uh, take care for the the people that lease in the property. Good. Now, yes, this this would be um, money given to the landlord apart from the rent. Okay, so it's uh, it's different than rent. Okay, um, this is given at the beginning of the rental period. So right when you start renting the apartment or house, you give them a security or damage deposit. Okay, um, then uh, this is this money is used just in case there is damage to the property. Okay, yeah. now this can be anywhere from uh, two hundred and fifty. So two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, the price of one month's rent. Is there a Okay, so um, it could be about two hundred and fifty dollars to the price of one month's rent. 
Okay, now one month's rent uh, could be $500 up to $1,500. Uh, if you're living in New York, it may be $3,000. Okay, yeah. depending on the the apartment that you are that you are living in. Okay, um, some places are more expensive than others. Okay, so that Where would be a damage uh, in New York. New York, it's yeah, very, New York. Uh, it's it's very expensive. Very expensive. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's very expensive. Okay, very good. Let's go to our next word. This is for Salman. Number five, please. Mm -hmm. Salman, are you there? Okay, let's go to Sergio. Okay, Chan. Number, number five. Number five. Available. Yes. Okay. What do you think the word available means? A little C, ready to use. Good, ready to use. Okay, so the way we would use that is by saying the apartment is available in now. Okay, the apartment is available now. Uh, the apartment or house will be will be available in one week. Okay, so we use the word available, meaning um, this is when you and you and your family or you and your friends can move into the apartment or house. Good. Let's go to Adrian, number six, please. Number six, bachelor suit. Bachelor. Okay, suit. yeah, that would be bachelor suite. Bachelor suite. Yes, so the difference bachelor here, Adrian. Suite is when there is an e at the end of the word that uh, that e okay makes it a, a, a sweet sound without the e you are correct that is suit okay like something you wear but sweet a suite is a uh, a place to live so a bachelor suite what do you believe a bachelor suite would be bachelor for, for a single person something for a single person i think yeah yeah good so this would be k yeah, small apartment for one person. Uh -huh. Good. Yeah, your your definition was good. So a single person, so one person. Okay, a small apartment for one person. That is called a bachelor suite. Bachelor suite. Okay, excellent. Nice job. Okay, let's go to Amparo, uh, number seven, please. Utilities. Um, mm -mm. Letter A. All right, here. Okay, yeah, so A. All right, heat, heat electricity, electricity, water. Okay, so heat, uh, you could call that your gas bill, okay, power bill, and water bill. Usually, you have to pay for all of these yourselves. Sometimes the water bill may be included in the rent. Okay? Sometimes all of the utilities are included in the rent. All right? And that's a bonus for you. Okay? Uh, so, yes, uh, utilities are gas, power, and water. What about okay? phone? A uh, phone is not utilities. Okay? Uh, okay. We use utilities to, uh, to mean gas, power, and water is all. Okay? Well, so uh, sometimes uh, you may. Uh, so you, you have, you have uh, gas through pipes. Uh huh. Yeah, but here it doesn't fun function okay. in, that, in, that word, in that way. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is something that you may see um, on a rental sign. Go ahead and look in the chat here. Uh, utilities and internet not included in rent. Okay, uh, so if you are going to rent a house for, um, let's say, a thousand dollars. Okay, a thousand dollars. You may uh, you may see. 
Okay, someone say at the end there, uh, utilities and internet <coughs> not included in the house. That means you have to pay for your own uh, utilities and your own internet. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. it's assumed. It's assumed nowadays that uh, let me turn this on. It's assumed nowadays that most people have cell phones. Most people in the United States don't have what's called a landline. Okay, most people just use cell phones nowadays. Sometimes they have a landline, but it's not used very often. Not as much as uh, we used to use them. So when they say utilities and internet not included, if you want to get a a, a phone, uh, that would not be included either. Okay. Okay. Go to, all right, let's go to our next word. This is for Ibrahim. All right, Ibrahim, um, please, please read number yes. eight. Number eight, please. Number eight. Uh, Abnin, uh, Abninis. Okay, this would be appliances. Up, appliances. Appliances. Okay, and what do you believe appliances are? What number do you, uh, or sorry, what letter do you believe that matches to? Um, I don't know. Okay, uh, does anybody in class know uh, which letter matches to appliances? I. 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 Very good. Okay. Let me show you some appliances. Okay. So you guys can uh, picture it for those of you who do not know. All right. Here they are. Appliances. These are uh, your basic appliances. Uh oh. Here we go. Okay. So we have a refrigerator, a stove. This would be a uh, dishwasher, a dishwasher, okay, and a washer and dryer, okay. These would be appliances. Uh, you can also include a microwave. So if we uh, look at this one here, we have a, a microwave that's handy, okay. So a microwave would be there, okay. Uh, so. Um, I know that this is not the case. The case in uh, Central America, you have to bring your own appliances whenever you move to a, a new place. Okay. One thing that I loved about the United States is that it is customary when you rent a place. Okay, especially an apartment. Houses are different. Okay, apartments are usually this way. Apartments. Okay. Uh, apartments include most appliances. Okay, so they include most appliances. Um, most meaning the refriger excuse me, the refrigerator. So I'll put fridge, fridge, stove, microwave. Okay, so they usually include a refrigerator, a stove, and a microwave. Okay, uh, sometimes in houses, okay, they would include a, a, a fridge, stove, and a microwave as well. And sometimes in, uh, in uh, apartments, they would include the washer and dryer also. Okay, now having a dishwasher, okay, a dishwasher is not always included. Okay, I haven't had a dishwasher in my house uh, my whole married life. So for the past 10 years, uh, we've washed dishes by hand. Okay, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Yeah, um, my parents have, yes. Sorry, um, I don't want to interrupt them. Continue, sorry. Continue. Okay, what's, it, what's your question? What's your question? Uh, my question is, uh, I'm, I saw in, in some of the films, I saw the washing machine uh, in the apartment, but not in the apartment. It's uh, you go yes. down, and uh, mm -hmm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't say what... Uh, uh, in, the, in the basement. Basement, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, so you would you would go down into the basement and uh, use the uh, um, it may be a community washer and dryer. Yeah. 
Okay. If it's a community washer and dryer, let's say all of us here, okay, we all lived in the in the same apartment complex. Not in the same apartment. We all have our own apartment. Okay, but there's uh, eight or nine okay apartments there. Now, if we have a community washer and dryer, that means that we all use the same one. Okay, and we would have to take turns using it. Sometimes that can be frustrating, all right? Other times it can be uh, pretty cool, all right? So that is a community, or yes, a public, okay? A public wa washer and dryer, okay? Now, what I was saying, um, every house and every apartment does not have a dishwasher. If you get one, hallelujah, it's awesome, okay? They're really cool. <laughs> All right. Sometimes they cost a little bit more more money uh, in the in the house if you are renting a place with one, but uh, but they're pretty cool. Right? Okay. So those are appliances. Okay. Again, remember how I say how I wrote in here um, include it, it, utilities and internet not included. Okay. Uh, you may see something like appliances included. Okay, and they usually mean at least a fridge, okay, a refrigerator, a stove, and probably a microwave. All right, so those those things would be included, and you would have to ask about the the uh, um, washer and dryer. Okay, uh, let's go to our next word. <clears throat> All right, who is my last person? Uh, that was Ibrahim. Let's go to Mario. Mario, number nine, please. Convenient. Okay, convenient. Uh, convenient. Uh, it's uh, easy to use, easy to do. Okay, easy to uh, use, easy to do. Okay, um, an apartment can be convenient. It could be in a convenient location. So, uh, for example, um, my apartment here that I rent uh, may be a little expensive to people uh, here in Costa Rica, but the grocery store is right there. Okay, I walk maybe less than five minutes. I have the grocery store, the bread store across the street, a vegetable store, and the butcher all right here. I don't have to use a taxi or a bus. Okay, plus my, my school that my, the children go to my children is right down the road. It takes me about five minutes to walk there. So when people talk to me about living someplace else that's cheaper, I then start to look at taxi fees or bus fees and go, doesn't make any sense. This place is convenient. Okay, it's convenient. Paradise. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it's paradise. Okay, so it's convenient here. Okay, so uh, that's what convenient uh, um, may uh, may mean. They're meaning the the location. Okay. Also, um, it could have conveniences inside the house, and they may they may mean things like uh, the the appliances are there. Okay. Uh, very good. Let's go to Max. Our next word, please. It's me. <clears throat> okay, number ten. Uh, uh, yeah, blind. Ah, no, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, okay, nervy. number ten. Okay, that would be nearby. Ah, pardon, nearby. Sorry, no nearby. Worries. Okay, uh, what does nearby mean? Uh, I I think so. That close. Okay, good. So D, close. Okay, now remember how I was talking about uh, the store, okay, and my school? Okay, those are all nearby. So in a, uh, an advertisement for a, uh, a, a school or something, you, uh, you are sorry for an apartment, they may say there is a school nearby or, okay, nearby the downtown area. Okay, which is great because there's a lot of things to do downtown. Okay, so nearby means close. Okay, all right, let's go to our next word. This is for Nadia. Uh, number 11, please. 
in number 11, blinds. It's window coverings. Good, blinds, window coverings. Now, let me show you. Oops, where did window coverings go? I saw you. Oh, here we are. G. G, window coverings. All right, let me show you guys what blinds are. This may be a new... A new um... Okay, so blinds in the house. All righty. Okay, so these here, these would be your basic blinds. Okay, and you have a string that you pull on, and these can go up. You can also open them up. Okay, those would be blinds. Okay, there's fancier ones that are made of wood. Okay, these are uh, very fancy and expensive. Okay. Uh, but yes, blinds, you can open to look outside of the window or close them to make it dark. Okay? We call these blinds. All right? <laughs> shutters, shutters are different. Shutters are on the outside of the window. Blinds are on the inside. Okay? So let me write that, that other word. Shutters are on... Now, uh, shutters are a little different. Okay, if you are if you are thinking, uh, so window shutters. Whoops, that's my <laughs> word right there. Okay, so window shutters. Uh, the okay, so these these would still be blinds. We would call these blinds. Okay, yeah, the see gator blinds. All right, so they got these wrong. These here would be shutters, okay, mm -hmm. on the outside of the house. These close and cover up the window, okay? Those are called shutters, okay? Right here, you see this? These are on the outside of the door or of the window. You open them up. Those are shutters. These other here, these are blinds. Don't get these confused. These are blinds still, okay? Shutters again, okay? It's kind of like cupboards for your for your windows. Okay, so cupboard doors. Blinds are on the inside. Shutters are on the outside. Um, most most houses and most apartments come with blinds. Okay, uh, this may not happen in in your country. Okay, this may not happen uh, um, in your country. In the United States, it's very typical to have blinds in your own uh, in your apartment. Okay, uh, they they provide them for you. All right. How about um, the name? What's that? How about the name of uh, blinds, which vertical strains? Are you name? Um. Oh, that's a good good question. What? Uh, um. Let me see if I can. Um, I I know exactly what you're talking about. They're 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 like this, and they kind of close and they open up like that. Okay. The same um, system. The same system with the horizontal, mm -hmm. but they are vertical. Oh. Chat. My my what? windows. I my example for my windows. You, I I can I can I can show you. Uh yeah, I I know what they are. I'm trying to think of their specific name because they have another name. Um, they may be called Persian, uh, Persian blinds. Let me look that up real quick. Let me see if my my memory serves me From right. Persia, the country, Persia. Yeah, so Persian blinds. Let me see here. We use a French word for this jalousie. Nope, I'm wrong. Um, dang it. Jalousie. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, different kinds of. Second. Ah, here they are. These are what you're talking about. These long ones here. Okay, they they're called conservatory blinds. I've never heard that. That may <laughs> conservatory. It's these long ones. Types of window blinds. Yeah, yeah. I'm not getting an exact name, but this is what you're this is what you're meaning. So they're very long. It's the basically yes. the same system. Yeah, they have a special name. Um, we would probably just call them blinds as well, um, but yeah, they, I, I know that they have another another you know special name. 
okay, that, uh-huh. that you can call them. I, I just can't think of it off the top of my head. But yeah, very, very good question. I apologize. I, I don't know that one off the top. But what's okay. the name of uh, each piece? A strain or what? Um, you could you you would call that a blind. Okay. A blind is so, composed yeah. with, with several what? Yeah, blinds are are compl- composed of several. You you may call them a uh, um, they may call them a uh, flap or a uh, or a blind or a blade. They may uh, they oh. may c- uh, call them blades. Blade. I'm not okay. exactly sure. I've, I have not installed blinds um, like that. There's companies all over that install blinds and fix them and things like that. Uh, yeah, I'm not exact. I'm not exactly sure of the exact terminology. They could call them blades. Okay. If you say one of the blades on my blinds has broke, okay, yes. you would be you would be just fine. Okay. So yeah, you'd be just fine saying that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. All right, let's go to our last word here. We're, we're running just a tad short on time. Um, okay, number 12, who did I leave off with? Is this uh, uh, Sergio? Sergio, please read number 12. Number 12, uh, carpeting. Okay, good, carpeting. What would carpeting be? Carpeting is a uh, oh, September rug. Yeah, it's like a it's like a rug, but different, just a bit different. Okay, so we a would call floor, that a floor covering. Floor covering. Okay, and carpeting is great. Okay, so carpet carpet uh, usually goes uh, throughout uh, uh, most of the house. Okay, it's like having a built-in rug. Okay, yeah. um, uh, you'll see it a lot at uh, hotels and whatnot. Yeah, most of the houses or apartments that you rent will have sections that are carpeted and sections that do not have carpet. Most it is bedrooms, good to sleep. <laughs> yes, definitely. Most bedrooms, most bedrooms in apartments and houses in the United States have carpet. Okay, most kitchens do not. So you can expect to see at least carpet in uh, in the bedrooms and the living room and in the kitchen not. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, let's uh, let's take a look at our dialogue, and uh, let's uh, read through that. So we'll move up to page number one. Okay, um, and let's go to the very beginning. So Adrian, uh, Adrian, let me have you read. The, uh, we're going to read uh, two lines each. Okay, so Adrian, please read um, the first two lines here. Understood. Hi, I'm calling about your ad for the apartment for rent. Oh, yes. Very good. Amparo, please continue. Can you give me a little more information, please? Sure. What would you like to know? All right, and let's see, Ibrahim, please continue. Ibrahim, three, two, one, Mario, your turn. Yes, okay, how many rooms does it have? Uh, It has an L-shaped living room, dining room, a small kitchen, two bedrooms, one large bathroom, and a small one of the master bedroom. Excellent. Uh, Max, please continue. Uh, how much is the rent? It's uh, $600. Very good. Nadia, please continue. Is it carpented? No, it has hardwood floors throughout. All right, Sergio, please continue. Is there a parking spot? There are two sprays available. Good, Adrian, please. Uh, Sorry, which one? Uh, Right here. Um, Is parking included? So uh, third one, third line, line from the bottom. How third much line. is the rent? 
Uh, nope, third line from the bottom. So if you are at the bottom of the page, go up one, two, three. Is parking included in is the rent? Is parking is parking included in the rent? One space is included. If you want the other spot, you'll have to pay an extra twenty dollars per month. Great, Amparo. What about utilities? The next line on the next page. Yeah, let me move. <laughs> Heat, water, and electricity are included. You <clears throat> just have to pay for cable and telephone. Very good. Um, Ibrahim? Yes. Okay, Ibrahim, please read the next two lines. Uh, hit, no, no. Uh, do I have to sit in a list? No, we just have to give to give one month next uh, needs if notice to move out. Okay, all right, good. good. And uh, Mario, please yes. continue. Is there a damage deposit? Yes. It's uh, $300 half a month's rent. Very good. Max, please continue. Yeah. Uh, is it okay to have a pet? Small pets are allowed. Allowed? Okay, that would be allowed. Allowed. Sorry. Good. No problem. Uh, Nadia, please continue. One more thing. Is it close to a major bus route? Yes. There is a bus stop just one block away. Great. Sergio? Great. When can I see it? How about you this afternoon? Okay. Adrian? That's fine. Oh, I forgot to ask. When is it available? It's available immediately. Very good. And I'm bottle. Okay. See you at two. Thanks. See you. Bye. All right. Very good. Okay, you guys. Um, do you have any questions here about the uh, dialogue? Any questions of anything we read through? Mm. Okay. This is a this is a very typical a very typical conversation that you would have with someone on the phone. Okay. Um, if you if you are wanting to know when you can move in okay this is the question to ask when is it available okay another question would be um, is it move in ready okay is it move in ready that means can I move in tonight if I wanted to all right so uh, and and uh, meaning all right uh, when is it available okay um, a couple of the things, all right, pets are not always allowed, just like in most places, okay, you would need to ask. If you have pets, be sure to ask, okay, be sure to ask, because you don't want to show up and then be like, oh, uh, you can't have pets here, okay, and then, and then you're screwed out of a, uh, of an apartment, right? Um, uh, now, damage deposit, okay, in this case, it was half of the month's rent. Remember how I said it can be between about 250 to uh, uh, a full month's rent, whatever that may be, okay? Um, okay, here, the utilities are included. Okay, remember I said it, they can be included. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not, all right? Um, I wanted to go to descriptions, all right, so when we talk about um, rooms and bathrooms in an apartment, okay, there's certain terminology that, uh, that people use, especially landlords, okay? If you are to rent in an apartment and you see this in Craigslist or, on, or in the newspaper, okay, you see this, 2-1. That means that there are two bedrooms, one full bathroom. Okay, a full bathroom has a shower, okay, and a place to go to the bathroom, as well as a sink to wash your hands. That is a full bathroom, okay, usually has a tub, okay, as well, 
Okay, so uh, full bath. <clears throat> okay, a bathtub where you can sit down in it. Okay, so we say a tub. Okay, toilet and sink. Okay, that is a full bath. Okay, when we say three quarter bath, Three-quarter bath, it's just a shower. Only enough space for one one person or maybe two people to stand in and take a shower. Okay? So that's the difference. It goes it goes from a tub to a a shower. Okay. Okay, so only a shower. That is a three-quarter bath. If you see half bath, okay, half bath only has a toilet and sink. Okay, only a toilet and a sink, no tub, no shower. Okay, that is a half bath. All right, so uh, these, these are, you know, uh, fractions that you'll see. Okay, so going back, okay, if you uh, see uh, an apartment for rent, that is a 3-2, uh, 3-2, uh, three, two. Three, two. okay, uh, one, uh, uh, so let's see. Apartment for rent, um, it'll say three two, okay, one full and one half. Okay, this would be a uh, a typical a typical uh, um, um, uh, message that you would see, okay. All right, and then uh, we'll put the price dollars. <clears throat> okay, apartment for rent, three bedrooms, three two. A three two means there are three bedrooms, two baths. Okay. And go on to explain it. Okay, and they say one full bath, and the other bath is a half. Okay, you see that one full bath and one half. Okay, so one one bathroom where you can sit down and you can take a shower, all that good stuff. Okay, you can you can have a have a bath, let sit down and and have a bath in your tub. Okay, the other one you can only wash your hands. Okay, and go to the bathroom. Okay, then utilities not included. Nine hundred dollars a month. Okay, they may include what the uh, um, deposit may be. They may say half of the month, 450 uh, deposit, like you would use that type of abbreviation. Sometimes, sometimes they'll spell the whole thing out. Okay, it's not always the same situation every time. Okay, now um, I wanted to show you guys uh, Craigslist as well before we take off. These uh, these phrases, okay, that are that are down below are very very good. Um, so if you come down here, okay, it has a lot of phrases that you could use, okay, um, or ways that you would hear someone else explain what they are. The most important thing I wanted to go over were the, uh, um, I want to go over these as well. Um, so I'll do that. So the, uh, um, uh, some of the terminology we use as well as the dialogue, okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's go over uh, what we call uh, certain houses. Okay, or places to rent, and then I'll show you Craigslist. Okay, all right. So, apartment, uh, we all know what that is. Okay, a uh, a house. Okay, it's a uh, pretty self-explanatory as well. A townhouse. A townhouse is a little different, you guys. Okay, townhouses are usually did. Okay. Uh, so you, you see here, this would be a typical townhouse. Okay, they are uh, connected to another townhouse that uh, usually create one large house. All right, so here in this picture, you have two houses, two houses, the garage on the bottom, you walk up, this is your living area, okay, so your living room and your bedrooms are usually upstairs. So you have a living room here, kitchen will probably be in the back, 
okay, with a half bath down here and probably uh, two to three bedrooms in in this house with uh, with one other bathroom upstairs. Okay, so this is a townhouse. They are connected. Okay, some people may call this a duplex because there are two of them. All right, um, townhouses can also be in rows like this. Okay, this would be a row of townhouses. Okay, this is a picture of uh, some houses in Canada. Uh, the houses in Canada and in the United States are very similar. Yes. No image on the main screen. Um, it should be there. You need to select my picture. So uh, go down below where you, where you. What's that? It's done. Okay. There should I can be. See only there should be a Chad picture. Hansen avatar. Oh, okay. Let me. Uh, let me escape out of that and then go back. Sometimes Hangouts does that. Did that help at all? Nope. Nope. You can still only see. Uh, you can still only see me and my wife. Yes. Crappy. All right. Mm hmm. But I can see the image in the bottom, the the thumbnail. Oh really? Oh man. Okay. So here. I'll, all I did was did a little search of townhouse. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Um, so I put that link. Uh, you can in the chat box. You can uh, open that up if you'd yes. like. Okay. These would be townhouses. Townhouse, um, du okay. Duplexes. Okay. Duplexes look like uh, this. Um, give me a front view. Okay. So this would be uh, like a typical duplex where you'd have uh, one house uh, down below and another house up top. Okay. Uh, this looks like there are four of them. Okay. Uh, uh, together. Okay. A duplex is one house on top, one on bottom. That is uh, usually how you see that. Sometimes people call these a duplex where they are side by side. Okay, it just depends on uh, uh, what uh, terminology they like to use. Okay. Now we can see the image. Oh, okay, good. So uh, townhouse and duplex. That uh, that would be the difference. Now, um, all right. Before we uh, we go, and I'm. All right, Craigslist is awesome. Okay, so I gave you the uh, link. Let me give that to you one more time. And I believe Canada uses Craigslist a lot as well. Okay, uh, so uh, here I have it uh, selected for Costa Rica because that's where I'm at. On the side, you can uh, select which uh, country. Okay, and uh, we can go to um, the state I'm from, Utah. You can select the city, the major city you're going to use, and then right here, up at the top, okay, you see housing. Okay, that's what you want to look for, housing, okay? Also, you have jobs here. You can get stuff for sale, so people selling things for the house. Okay, it's really, really cool. So you can buy used stuff. I, I supplied everything in my house by buying stuff off of Craigslist. I love this place. Okay, so if you're not afraid of buying used things, this is awesome. Okay, so um, uh, housing. Okay, so apartments and housing. Okay, rooms or shared. So if you want to just rent a room, you can do that. So you go in. Okay, apartments and housing. Amazing, one bedroom. Okay, yeah, super amazing for seven hundred and thirty-nine dollars. It better be amazing for that much. Okay, so they show pictures of what it looks like. Okay, you have the uh, inside. Hopefully, the switches. Okay, so uh, you can see you have carpet. The blinds would be included. Okay, things like that. Your bed and what what not you uh, would ha you would have to uh, uh, bring, but yeah, the appliances uh, would be uh, um, would be there 
uh, there for you to use. Uh, down below, you see our one bedroom. Okay, you can, it, it'll tell you more or less what you can bring. Call today and it gives you a phone number. Okay, so Craigslist is a great place for, uh, uh, for you guys uh, for you guys to go to and uh, and rent uh, houses or apartments. If you move to either Canada or uh, the U.S., uh, some other places use uh, Craigslist as well. It's a great site. Okay. All right, you guys. Thank you for uh, for uh, coming and uh, hanging out with me. Uh, I hope the uh, vocabulary words help you guys out. Uh, if you do have any other questions, you can always uh, send me a message on Facebook. Okay. All right, you guys. Okay, Thank you okay Chad. We'll see you. I can see you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.